Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Samantha and this is my husband, TBR Schmidt. Hello. And today we are watching Uncle Buck. What do you know about this film? I know it won our comedy Patreon poll. Yes, so we want to thank our patrons for voting for this to win our comedy Patreon poll. Other than that, I know it's John Candy. We've seen John Candy in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Absolutely hilarious. I think the scene where they're going through the two semi trucks and he randomly has like a Satan, like devil costume on might be one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so John Candy, amazing, a legend, but I really haven't seen much of his work other than planes, trains, and automobiles. Right, so I have seen this movie a number of times. I watched this movie a bunch growing up with my parents. I love this film. It's gotta be at least a decade because I've never watched it with you. No. Um, so it's gotta be at least a decade since I've seen this, but I just remember loving this film and loving John Candy in it. I'm super excited. I assume he is Uncle Buck, but I don't know how that plays into anything. So I'm really excited for you to see this for the first time. I think you're really gonna love it. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on our Twitch, Twitter, or Instagrams, yeah. those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. It's a nice house. All the kids coming home from school. Oh. Is that Home Alone guy? Yeah. Thank them for getting treated like shit every day. I'm telling on that one. <laughs> You're just supposed to open the door first. You're not supposed to kick us around. I'm an American. I have rights. Is this just the babysitter? I thought this was the older sister. I don't know why we need boys at all. They're so loud. Shut up! Shut up yourself! Percy! Oh, pussy. Percy or pussy? Percy! <laughs> I'm just in Sopranos mode. <laughs> Did you win at hockey yesterday? I got been over for two weeks. Okay. I've had enough of your ugliness. We're all just a little tired of the act. I don't know what the relationship is. This like step parents? Oh. That's just really a good idea. Where have we seen her before? Can't play. Oh, Field of Dreams, I think. I think she's the wife in Field of Dreams. I'm really not that excited about going to work for my girlfriend. There, I said it. It's out of the way. If I could think of an excuse that you would buy, I'd use it. Man, who's panicking? Your dad had a heart attack. Oh. Who's gonna watch the kids? What about the uh, Nevilles? Oh, here comes Uncle Buck. I wanna leave as soon as we can. I am so helpless here. I mean, this is a real excuse. This is just a thought. What about Buck? I don't want him here. He doesn't have kids. He isn't married. He, he doesn't even work. He's available. He's responsible and he's family. The trashy people he hangs out with, that woman who sells tires. What's wrong with tires? So judgy. <laughs> yeah. I love my father very much. So why did you move away from him? Dang. If the whole family moved away from me, I'd have a heart attack too. Ouch. Yeah, what a teenager. Who's gonna take care of us? Mr. and Mrs. Nibble? Is that a joke? I don't think so. The dog's a ball sniffer. Because the dog was sniffing Michael's balls. I don't use that word. <laughs> They're in Florida. What's the other word for ball? Nuts. Oh, there you go. I was going to say testes. Can we trust him? Nuts. This is Bob. Bob. Bob who? Uh, it's your brother. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <coughs> <coughs> what the? I'm real sorry about those bushes, too. I had no idea. We would all catch on fire like that. <laughs> If you're not doing anything, is this uh, okay with Cindy? This has got her approval on it? Um, yeah. Uh, that'd be great. Do we want to do this tonight or in the morning? Tonight would be best. <laughs> I mean, if you could do it. What a good brother. He was uh, asleep and I woke him up this hour. Uh, that's a good sign. <laughs> that he was actually asleep. Oh! oh! Hello. Shanice? Oh, no! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You are not coming in to work in the morning. Let, get, <laughs> no, but give me, <laughs> give me a. <laughs> oh. Goodbye. <laughs> what a perfect conversation. T has got to be nine, nine, maybe ten. Oh boy. Is that the oldest? <laughs> Who's at least fourteen or fifteen? He's forty years old. 
He knows his way around. Is this the wrong house? Bob! Bob! Come on! Wake up! I'm freezing my ass off! <laughs> Come on, I'm getting mad, Bob! Fuck! Bob! Over here! <laughs> he was close. Do you have any idea how many big white houses there are on this street? <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Hatfield! It's 2 a.m. Hey, I, I stopped smoking cigarettes. Oh, good. All right, Buck. <laughs> I'm on to cigars now. <laughs> Then I go to pipes, then I go to chewing tobacco, then I'm on to that nicotine gum. Every five years? No. <laughs> Look, I got the money, please. I'd, I'd like to do this, all right? So, uh... <laughs> no. Let me just leave you the checks. Well, only if it's comfortable for you. <laughs> you have a plunger here for the morning, you know, my plumbing. Just in case. Just been bound up lately. It's, it's, it's driving me crazy. I've been eating a lot of cheese. <laughs> got a craving for this stuff. <laughs> Maybe that's an allergy or something? <laughs> I don't know. I can't get enough cheese. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> Overshare. Right up. Oh. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Really Thanks. appreciate it. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Say hi to your dad for me. <laughs> I feel like he's immediately going to break. Oh. <laughs> he didn't break. Unbreakable. <laughs> this is bad advertising. We have breakfast. Yeah. A little bit of a mess. The Uncle Buck. Coffee drinker, huh? Great start. Hungry? No. Everybody loves breakfast. You gotta have a good breakfast. Start the day off right. The uh, the other kids. They have names. Yeah. What are they? I said I wasn't hungry. That's one of my specialties. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Who are you? <laughs> He's cooking our garbage. <laughs> oh my god. You put onions in the eggs. You allergic to onions? <laughs> so awkward. Is your sister always this pleasant? No. She's usually in a bad mood in the morning. So it's worse? <laughs> she and dad went to Indianapolis. They did not. <sighs> okay, they didn't. They did? <laughs> I'm taking care of you. But you can't drive! Show her. What do you do for a living? Lots of things. Where's your office? <laughs> I don't have one. How come? I don't need one. Where's your wife? Don't have one. <laughs> Are you my dad's brother? What's your record for consecutive questions <laughs> asked? 38. I'm your dad's brother. <laughs> You're only knows so my dad. How nice of you to notice. I'm a kid, that's my job. <laughs> that's great. Nice. Show up in style. You can spot it a mile away. <laughs> Stand me up today, and tomorrow I'll drive you to school in my robe and pajamas and walk you to your first class. Oh. I'm stunned that I'm related to you. You get the pole out of your keister, we're gonna get along just fine. <laughs> Did you ever have anyone embarrass you like this? No. <laughs> He's not putting up with her shit. No. Think she hates me? With a passion. Really? <laughs> you think it's the hat? No. <laughs> what do we talk about? Me playing the father. I'm really glad that you can do it for your brother. You sure as hell can't do it for me. A little practice session. Why don't you give me a week to think about it? You know, because I don't know how long I'm going to be here, hon. You know, we'll see where we are at that point. <laughs> With erstwhile cold warrior. It's <laughs> clever. Yeah, he's efficient. <laughs> he's getting along with a dog. <laughs> what? Is that a whole block of cheese? Would you like to talk about a possible lunch trade? <laughs> what was in the bag that was wet? I don't know. <laughs> Cut out. Wow. That bitch. Uh oh. Oh no. Cover your ears. What? Just do it. 
for your ever tuna? <laughs> you ever hear of a ritual killing? <laughs> I don't get it. You know, on her face in public like that again, and you'll be one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Straight to the killing. I recommend that you stay out of my personal life. Your parents stay out of your personal life? They don't know my personal life. That's not good. His name is Bug. <laughs> What's his last name? Spray? <laughs> you should talk, Buck. Buck is way better than Bug. Is this before or after his Home Alone? I think after. I guess between. There's Man, a bunch. how many... Classic movies has he been in? Don't you have a favorite doll or something? How about the dog? You know the dog. Oh. You don't want to sleep with me. <laughs> why don't you do everything around here? It's a responsible kid. Next time you take off, why don't you hire a murderer to watch the house? This guy's a joke. Seems to be doing a pretty good job. The guy took off today and left Miles and Maisie alone. He drinks. What? You know, I have a friend who works at the crime lab at the police station. I could give him your toothbrush. <laughs> Actually brushed your teeth or just ran your toothbrush under the faucet. Got him. <laughs> That's true. We're going to really have to start brushing our teeth. <laughs> He's crushing it. Kids are great. We're having a great time together. I got a real good feeling about this. He's going to be fine. Plates in the, in the living room there. Are they old? Yeah. They are. <laughs> They valuable? Where would you find something like that in an antique shop downtown or something? In England. <laughs> How many times a day do you feed a dog like that? I should have told you that he eats once. He eats <laughs> Just once. What What does he like to drink? Uh, the water? <laughs> I've been leaving the, the toilet seats up. Is that what the blue water is? It's not good for him, huh? <laughs> that That might account for something. <laughs> Coloration out on the grass. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, bye bye. Bob! Bob! <laughs> Poor Buck. <laughs> the dog's joining. <laughs> it's moving to the ground. Who is this? Me? She looks familiar too. She's a sister on Roseanne? Oh, okay. Come on. What do I have to talk dirty to you? <laughs> Shovel loading. Shovel loading you. Hey, Doc, come on. You don't want the crowbar, do you? Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh. Her father had a heart attack. I'm her brother-in-law. Who are you talking dirty to? The washing machine. <laughs> Buck Russell. Marcy Dahlgren Frost. <laughs> Frost is my married name. I'm single again, but I never bothered to lose the Frost. Ah, what a character. My father's heart attack. I was out of town for three weeks. Oh, man. Waiting for your sex? What'd you blow all that makeup for? We're just going bowling. I'm not going bowling. It's virtually impossible to get pregnant while doing it. <laughs> Crazy, out of work, bum uncle. We'll shave your head while you sleep. <laughs> See you in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Got his own ball. Oh. Let's play it off. <laughs> you must be a college student, right? Cheerleader, probably. You look firm. Jesus. He's clearly gotten punched in the face earlier. <laughs> Both of the kings, without knocking any of them over, you would be champion of the world. <laughs> Here comes Buck. You got a cure for that. Buck. You got a game going somewhere, pal? Move it! Go on, get out! <laughs> With this score, your whole year is covered. This is gambling? Maybe if you got married, you'd stop being such an asshole. I don't know if he's the problem. Jeez! Is that a pancake? <laughs> I got you now. Wow! What an idea. I like how the stairs just keep getting dirtier and dirtier. <laughs> Happy birthday! 
Uh, I hope you're hungry. No way. You should see that toast. I couldn't even get it through the door. <laughs> oh man, I know what I want for my birthday. <laughs> Miles' mom hired a clown. Oh. <sighs> oh no. <sighs> Come on, man. What did, you, what did you have, a few drinks this morning? I'll have to take any shit from you. <laughs> We're gonna have a clown fight? Get in your mouse and get out of here. <laughs> Low life lion, four flush and sack of shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure the kids would have enjoyed watching that fight. <laughs> you ever gonna feel right? Yeah, we need Buck to the rescue, hopefully. I told you 25 times we're going to pick up Tia. Ooh. Buck's close. They certainly are scraping the bottom of the barrel for cheerleaders these days. <laughs> Just thought you'd like to join us for some ice cream. Maybe your bug here can join us. We can talk about Barry and the Hatchet. I got one in the car if you'd like to see it. <laughs> Barry it and you. I like to carry it, you know. You never know when you're going to need it. Not to kill. Oh. Just to maim. <laughs> Take a little off the shoulder, the elbow. <laughs> Why I've been known to circumcise a gnat. You're not a gnat, are you, bug? Wait a minute. <laughs> gnat? Is there a little similarity? <laughs> you understand what I'm talking about? I don't think you Music. do. Music. I'll be right back. <laughs> Let me show it to you. Look, um, I think you'd better split. He's all talk. Here it is. <laughs> I don't want to show it to you. I'll get him back. <laughs> he definitely leaves an impression. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you should have that in the school. Maybe squat or something. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> He's so big. Tell you what, let me go in there first, okay? I'll cover for you. <laughs> Why is he getting called in? I'm Anita Horgar. Buck melanoma. Molly Russell's wart. <laughs> I'm I'm the wart. She's my tumor. My my growth. <laughs> what are you even saying? Buck Wart Russell. That's what they call me. <laughs> Melanoma head. They'll call me that. <laughs> that's just about enough of that. Sorry. Already getting in trouble? I see a bad egg when I look at your niece. Maisie? She is a twiddler, a dreamer, a silly heart. She just described a kid. I don't think she takes a career as a student seriously. She's only six. <laughs> a valid excuse. Oh, no, kid. I don't think I want to know a six-year-old who isn't a dreamer or a silly heart. I don't even have a job. <laughs> Anyone have a special story to tell a class? Oh, no. My uncle was microwaving my socks and the dog threw up on the couch for about an hour. <laughs> Can't get the goddamn washing machine to work. Blasphemer! <laughs> what was that? Because <laughs> she cursed. You so much as scowl at my niece or any other kid in this school and I hear about it and I'm coming looking for you. <laughs> Show her the hatchet. Go downtown and have a rat gnaw that thing off your face. <laughs> Good day to you, madam. <laughs> so many, like, <laughs> iconic lines in this. Wrong way. Look, I'm just calling to say I, uh, I miss you. I'm thinking a lot about your little dimples on your buns. Uh. Right was Lyndon and the left was... Johnson. <laughs> oh, your boobs were Minnie and Mickey. I remember that. <laughs> Felix. Felix is what we called your... <laughs> Come on, get the house. What are you doing out here making all this noise? They have a cat? Who let the cat out? We don't have a cat. <laughs> yeah, you have a dog. Come on, shoot! Shoot, 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 shoot! Oh, don't be locked out! <laughs> Open up! May I please speak to Buck Russell? This is a friend of his, Shanice Kowalowski. Oh no. Is this your revenge? 
He went out with Marcy. They usually stay out pretty late. Do you want to leave a message? No, there's no message. That little brat. Yeah, you feel good? No message. Oh, nice! Socks are done. <laughs> Sexy guy in here. Whoa. Hi. Oh my god, what are you doing? Laundry, what's it look like? You need a little adult supervision. Oh, come on with the timing. One dance though, that's it, because I really have to take a nap. <laughs> come on, the dog is watching. <laughs> what is that, dirty dancing? Uh -huh. I don't think so. Dip. not good at least it wasn't too bad <laughs> hi Shanice this is um Marcy oh yeah Marcy and she came over to um shut up buck is this who you were out with last night I didn't go out last night Shanice hey come here damn Shanice wait a minute wait a minute let me explain Marcy can't clear it up <sighs> I love you. Go home, okay, Marcy? I'll just go home and wait for the Federal Express man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to go out tomorrow night. You can go crazy after I leave. Until then, I'm not letting you out. Who are you trying to score points with? My parents? Get used on your parents' time. Damn. Have a bad day today? Oh, I hope he gets his revenge. <laughs> Last call. Oh, no, Buck. There you go. There you go. No, it's supposed to be water. <laughs> little for you, a little for me. You got it made, Buck. You don't have any kids. You don't have any wife. You don't have a desk. I had it made. This just means you had nothing. Only thing now is purse. Nobody says that anymore. A lot of money tomorrow, kiddo. I don't know about that. Tell UV when he gets home that he lost, OK? I'll see you guys Sunday. What day is today? Friday. Oh, what are you planning on doing? She promised me she was going to look after you guys this evening. Does anyone in this house know how to keep a promise? <laughs> my whole year was based on tonight. It may be peanuts to your dad, but it's my living. I, I have to take you with me tonight. All right. You have to go to the bathroom? No. Nope. You're sure? Yep. <laughs> but she said she was going to a party. She said she'd be back Sunday. Must be a slumber party. Oh, is he even going to make it to this racetrack? Yeah, he's got to go after her. I like how they just have mostly just been there. I, I need somebody to watch the kids. Your horse fixer's in town, and you need to get to the track. Can we put our personal problems aside for a second? He had took off on me. Fifteen, she's angry, she's confused. All right, all right. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. He's got to explain more. You didn't cheat on her? I'm looking for a party somewhere. Oh, that's on Toto Elaine. I don't think you ought to go in there with that hat on. They'll kill you. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. <laughs> oh, God. No. Oh, God. What? What was that? I'm... I'm supposed to come over and watch you? It was just imagining. <laughs> I'm Uncle Buck's friend. May I see your driver's license, ma'am? Smart. Yeah. <laughs> Can I please take it out of there? <laughs> I assume this guy's like a senior or something and she's a freshman. I hope he meets Bugs Hatchet. I mean, they're gonna know he's here. <laughs> if the car blows up. <laughs> well, I guess they didn't hear with the music. Oh, he left the hat on. Oh. Is that even the right hat? No. <laughs> stop it, please. You said stop. <laughs> when do you get a beer? <laughs> that door opens. I'm gonna kick somebody's ass. Go in, Puck. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah. <laughs> he still deserves this. To you. Told you so. <laughs> that probably wouldn't be appropriate. You are right. Everything you said would happen, happened. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to get you home. Are you going to tell my parents? No. I'm glad I got a chance to know you again. Did you do anything to bug? <laughs> what did you do? Oh, oh. <laughs> they still have him? <laughs> do you know what I'd like you to do? <laughs> he just kidnapped him. I'm sorry! I'm an amateur dentist. <laughs> Get him out of there. Yeah, half hearted. We'll let him go. Oh, here I'm, we go. <laughs> I hope they're just in the middle of the woods or something. Back it up, kick your ass, man! Chicken shit! <laughs> I'm gonna sue your balls off, man! <laughs> You're talking a lot of stuff, bug. A little fine wood. <laughs> Shatter his knees. You oh, what a shot! <laughs> I <died> for shit. <laughs> He's got more. What do you see in that guy anyway? <laughs> That's so good. I appreciate the confession, Tia. Thank you. Thanks a lot. There you go. If he does, he'd never say it. You said it. What if he did? Not to her. I think he'd make a wonderful husband and father. You do? My sister and brother adore him. He's responsible. Caring and loving. <laughs> How much did you pay her? Enthusiastic <laughs> and energetic. <laughs> Fuck. And humble. <laughs> <laughs> Happened to me. Did he by any chance put you up to this? No. <laughs> no, I've just gathered this from my own observation. <clears throat> <laughs> That's the signal. Uh oh. <laughs> Is the uh, coffee ready? I have told you I loved you, and it wasn't for tires, it was for shocks, remember? <laughs> a lot of precaution. <laughs> she has a great stare. It's gonna be real different. Promise. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Almost ended perfect. We try our best, you know, we're not so good at doing it. What? We're going home, we're not dying. <laughs> you know, he's getting a new company car on Monday. Ooh. All right, that was Uncle Buck. What'd you think? That was so good. I mean, John Candy is just so amazing. There's just something about him that you're just immediately drawn to. The charisma, the humor, he can turn any situation into a hilarious situation. I, I loved every second of it. I'm so glad. <laughs> I knew you were gonna love it, but I, it's always just so much fun to watch a comedy with you in general. So it was fun knowing already that I knew you would love this. <laughs> Mostly the movies that you have seen that I haven't are these like more classic or older comedies. I mean, this, Kindergarten Cop. Mm -hmm. I mean, we watched Dirty Dancing and Princess Bride. Okay, yeah. Not really comedies, but. They still have some, at least Princess elements. Bride has a lot of comedy elements, but yeah. um, no, I mean, it was just so heartwarming and hilarious. Yeah, I feel like it's the perfect combination of like a lot of heart with the comedy, which makes it so good. But John Candy is like on another level. I think really this was like the only thing I remember seeing him in growing up and it just made me love him so much. So I know that we have a good amount of John Candy films that we can still watch. Oh, that's great. At least a couple that I think have been recommended. I know like The Great Outdoors. Oh, okay, yeah. I think there was a couple more, but I'm excited that we do have more. I love that character isn't goofy, I guess. No, I was gonna say that. I feel like 
he was amazing the second he showed up. Mm -hmm. Other than smashing the plate right away, which I'm sure he would have replaced if it wasn't all the way in England, but he crushed it. I mean, he was up early and he was making the breakfast. Sure, it wasn't something that they wanted, but that was the first morning. It wasn't like this character that was this like stumbling drunk or like he came over and he was just messing things up and the story was about him kind of redeeming himself and becoming better. I feel like he crushed it right away and it was more about just mostly breaking through to Tia. Whereas Miles and Maisie loved him almost immediately. Yeah, they loved him from the start. And I think that you could tell right in the beginning, the second that Bob calls him, he was ready to drop everything to help. He was like, do you need me right now in the morning, whatever? Like. He was ready. Obviously in the beginning with Shanice, it sounded like he would literally do anything to get out of going to work. Yeah. But he still cared. And I think like everything that he said was genuine with Cindy when he was actually concerned about her dad. He was willing to just go and take care of these kids. And he took that job so seriously from the second he got there. Yeah, I mean, that's what I mainly loved about it is that he was clearly such a good guy. Yes, maybe you could say he was lazy or he was kind of postponing growing up, but not in like a ridiculous way. Because like you said, I mean, he showed up to the wrong house, but he got it eventually. <laughs> but he showed up, he was great with the kids right away. And he was surprisingly understanding of like how to deal with a very, very moody teenager, which even her parents were clearly struggling with understanding Tia and what she was going through. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of tension uh, with her parents, especially with her mom, which as a past teenage girl, <laughs> um, the mood swings are... Accurate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Out of control. I, um, I mean, I was never like that, but it causes like so much tension between like mom and daughter. So I think the fact that it doesn't really seem like they were home very much or took obviously very much interest in the kids. I mean, with Miles and like his hockey team. That's true. Yeah. They didn't even know that the season was over. Right, the kids kind of found their own way home. Very clear points that I probably didn't put enough emphasis on in the beginning, because I didn't assume that they were bad parents. I don't think they're bad parents, but no. clearly there was a disconnect between the parents and the kids. Right, and I think that's why Tia felt kind of like the babysitter. Yeah. How she wouldn't even really say mom. Right, I mean, even in the beginning, I was unsure of the family dynamic. I was like, is Tia the babysitter? I wasn't sure if one of the parents was like a step parent. It was confusing enough that I didn't see them as just a family. Right. I thought there was something else going on, mm -hmm. but the something else was that there just wasn't that close of a relationship. Yeah. And Buck was able to come in and just immediately connect with everyone. Yes, he was struggling with Tia, but he was like seeing Tia, mm -hmm. which is way different. Different from what she was used to. There's so many iconic scenes in this film and I didn't remember them all, but as soon as they were starting to happen, I just remembered it and I feel like we've seen like them parodied probably like in Family Guy, stuff like that. But like the scene with uh, Macaulay Culkin and John Candy when he's like interrogating right, him. Right, like the quick interview, yeah. Yeah, um, and then just some of the one-liners. Just his like comebacks, his, his ability to come out from a conversation on top. Yes. I mean, the one that really sticks out is the one with like the vice principal or something. <laughs> just couldn't stop saying mole. <laughs> well, just like, but here's a quarter, go have a rat, like gnaw that thing off or something. <laughs> Such an amazing line. I didn't totally remember like how violent Uncle Buck's tendencies kind of were, which is so funny because I think there's a good amount of time on this channel where the first thing that you go to is just like, kill him. I'm definitely a violence first type of person. <laughs> Not in real life. Not, yeah, only in a fictional setting regarding movies and TV shows. But John Candy handled every situation exactly how I hoped to handle the situation. <laughs> to show up and just be like, hey, you wanna see a hatchet? I have it nice and sharp for you. It was just perfect. Yeah, no, the threats to bug were <laughs> so fantastic. I mean, the fact that obviously bug was 
it seems a senior kind of preying on a freshman. We kind of saw how that ended at the party. Right. Um, but the threats <laughs> were so good. I mean, it took him about like 10 seconds before he already threatened to like a ritual sacrifice for Bug. <laughs> like that was one of the first things he said to him. Which he even was like, what? <laughs> I mean, he didn't waste any time with anything. I mean, even like the clown, that was an immediate situation where he could tell that the clown was drunk and he stepped outside and was like, you're completely in the wrong. And when the clown talked back, okay, just a punch to the face, two punches. So Buck was yeah. ready to throw down at any moment. Like the uh, pal at the bowling alley, like get the hell out of here, pal. Yeah, Buck was uh, not putting up with anyone's shit. No, obviously it was obvious that Buck had bowling experience. He liked to bowl and whatnot, but I didn't remember that that was like his bowling alley. Like he knows people there. Right. So damn, Pal was so gross. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> getting it <stupid>. stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, there was just so many great moments. The kids were fantastic in it. Obviously, Miles Macaulay Culkin, Home Alone, like iconic kid actor. But the girls were also fantastic. We were kind of having a look there before we had our discussion about like, oh, have they been in anything or anything? But they were so good. Yeah, I definitely thought just based off of my knowledge that Macaulay Culkin would probably be the number one star in the movie like opposite John Candy yeah so I thought he was gonna be in the movie way more yeah but he was actually not in the movie very much and he didn't have a ton of dialogue either every time he was on screen he crushed it mm -hmm. like with the uh like opening the up yeah, the opening up the mail slot yeah but Miles and Maisie even though they weren't really super central to the story, every time they had a scene together, it was excellent. I just, I really liked how they immediately connected with Buck mm -hmm. and they were always kind of like his like little sidekicks. Yes, I was gonna say the same. You know, when he would like look back in the car to try to get like, oh, does she, does she hate me? And they'd be like, oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Even like when they're all sleeping in the same bed together and and Buck ends up on the floor and then they end up back on the floor and then they go back to the bed. They were a great little team that they just had funny, like sweetheart moments throughout and never really any sort of like controversy, which was great. Yeah, good sidekicks exactly for him. Yeah. I also didn't realize that this was a John Hughes film. No, so I think we've seen some John Hughes films on the channel already, right? Yeah, because uh, we did have a discussion about like other coming of age films. Obviously we saw Stand By Me most recently as a coming of age. I know that's not a John Hughes film, but prior to that we had seen something else. Yeah, I can't remember off the top of my head yeah. what we've seen, but I do remember talking about John Hughes because I think we were talking about like the Brat Pack or something like that, which I feel like is Connected to John Hughes, Oh, maybe? it was when we watched Ferris Bueller. Oh, right? right. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, so um, I think we do have some more John Hughes films to watch as well. We have both seen Breakfast Club. Yeah. Um, that's been requested uh, quite a bit, but we have seen it. Unfortunately, that would have been a fun film to <laughs> watch on the channel. I mean, overall, this was great for me to watch with you. Yeah, I mean, it was hilarious. And like I said, it was very like sweet and had a, like, a lot of heart to it. Mm -hmm. I think they handled the upset teenager phenomenally in this movie. Mm -hmm. It was a great back and forth between Tia and Buck in a very believable way. And it ended in a situation where it wasn't like Buck coming to the rescue necessarily. Mm -hmm. Tia was you know, smart enough all along to understand when a situation is bad and had gotten out of there already, mm -hmm. but still Buck being there to support her. And I mean, even just down to the the moment where he picks her up and like, I kind of made a joke. Obviously the worst thing you could possibly say in that would be like, I told you so. Buck didn't do that. He was just like, we don't need to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to get you home. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, no, I mean, he handled it perfectly to say he's not gonna tell her parents, any of that. The fact that he let them have a moment. He stayed with the kids in the kitchen so that Tia and her mom could have that. Yeah, I mean, even in the car ride home, whether he really needed it or not, he kind of gave that power to her to be like, hey, I'm having some relationship problems. Could you give me some advice? Like. 
just something simple like that to a kid makes it seem like they're actually being heard and listened and appreciate all of that. Yeah. So I don't know. Buck was a phenomenal character immediately, which I really loved. I, I didn't want to go through the progression of him being shitty to him being good. He was just always great. And then, yeah, I mean, there's just so many hilarious moments. I mean, we talked about a few, but I'm sure we could talk forever about how many just hilarious situations there were. Yeah, John Candy's just comedy gold. He had a, a moment kind of similar to planes, trains, and automobiles, kind of, not to the extreme, but when he got hit by the door, like it was such a drastic, like flying, like it was so unrealistic. It just kind of reminded me of planes, trains, and automobiles. There were a good amount of uh, sound effects too. Uh, just little placements throughout, which made everything kind of funnier. Yeah, even like obviously his car sound effect mm -hmm. or when he was coming into that room and like drilled through the door and just kind of like busted it open, there's smoke everywhere. <laughs> this was so much fun. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I had a great time revisiting this after a long time. And I'm excited that there's more John Candy movies and possibly more John Hughes movies. Yeah. So there's a lot more to explore. Yeah. So let us know <laughs> what we should be watching. Yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye. Great job.